If you landed up on this video, probably you want to connect uh, one or more of your systems uh, with other systems. So we talk about connectors. And uh, that's why we have today as a special guest, Lorenzo Torresin, our technical director. Thank welcome, you for having welcome me. Lorenzo. And of course, uh, our uh, usual co-host, Rhonda Stockton. Hi, everyone. So you are in the right place. Uh, my name is Simone Zanetti, and this is the Success Factor Show. So usually there is a disconnect between business and IT. Business doesn't exactly have the ability to tell IT what they want and IT doesn't always get it either. So there is usually a disconnect between the two and this is not easily overcome. Uh, I, I see people on YouTube nodding like, oh, that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. Uh, the truth is that we're talking uh, on that regard of a situation that was true maybe some years ago. Right now with Sasafat we are talking about a solution where uh, business doesn't have to worry about IT because whatever IT does is transparent. The solution is customer focused. Therefore, the processes work in a way so that the solution is completely integrated. Okay, so we, we should have an integrated solution with all the division towards the client, towards the customer. If that is not true today, then we have a problem, right? That's Very much correct. So let's look at some interesting statistics from the IT division. The biggest issue for IT concerns uh, to the safety issues of data. We are talking about a cloud solution. Therefore, the first concern of IT will always be how safe is going to be our data on the cloud. The second concern of IT will always be with regards to the complexity of the integrations for the business. We are talking about a business with a number of applications that needs to be integrated with the cloud. Therefore, there's going to be a major challenge on that. And I think here you see the link between business and IT because IT is concerned that it's going to take a long time to integrate if the complexity is very high and therefore business is paying for something that it never gets there. I mean, it takes a year to... to very true, yeah. very true. So if it's not broken, don't fix it? Well, but you also want to uh, see what uh, the technology can offer you to improve your business. So you want to get access to the new technology. Yeah. You just don't want to wait forever and spend a fortune for it. And Very that's, correct. That's about it as well, because at bottom line, maintenance of infrastructure, intelligent people that you need to hire to maintain it, the whole thing just costs a fortune at the end of the day. And therefore today, of course, we're going to cover how we can get rid of these concerns that we just described. And the big question, can it integrate with my other solutions? And of course, how much all of that impacts my budget? That's right, Lorenzo. So these are the three main points that we're going to cover today. And what you're going to learn is uh, what are the benefits of this integration? what the cost impacts are. And also what to consider for the maintenance of the software and the connectors. So the, the main three concerns from an IT perspective really are, I have uh, an install base. So I have an on-premise solution at the moment, which most people do, most companies do. Uh, and I have now this cloud solution. Can these two communicate? And am I so lucky that there is an out-of-the-box solution that already exists? And most importantly, after I've done the effort to connect my on-premise solution and the cloud solution, does this work and what kind of data can I expect from one side or the other? What's coming towards me? Okay, it's not that bad. In fact, it's much better than that. Simone, you make it sound like IT is actually the most difficult part of this adventure of going cloud. While instead, don't you think that organizational change is going to be more difficult? Yeah. I want to agree with you 100% on that, Lorenzo, because there are automatic connectors available already yeah. for free with the product. All right, so it's going to help you. Not for free, included. <laughs> So no additional cost on the product. Yeah. There are also so many ways to integrate your current uh, on-premise solution with cloud solution and other cloud solutions. So IT is becoming easier and easier because technology progresses, uh, but people are a little bit more stiff at changing. Is that what you're That's saying? That's correct. And not only that, we also have to remember there is a lot of multiple ways that you can integrate with. Yeah. Wow, all yeah, right. So the point on that one then would be, what can the audience expect from security? Well, first of all, we are talking about a set of standard connectors that are available with the cloud solution. Um, we're talking about 
connectors are going to be defined during the initial workshops, mm -hmm. and all the documentation and the functionalities are based on a set of uh, compliance and auditing system that right. are tracked. Can, can I ask a question on this one? So standard connectors, we know that SuccessFactors is owned by SAP. The standard connectors are just for SAP modules or also for third parties? Standard connectors cover the area for all the software. We are talking SuccessFactors to SuccessFactors or to other cloud solutions, or also SuccessFactors to on-premise solutions. So it can be SAP or can be even even Oracle. Solution. As long as your solution is able to transfer a file, we can do it. Oh, fantastic. And also the connectors are based on European standard requirements. Which we know that they are among the highest. In terms absolutely, of absolutely. Not only that, we're talking about an auditing process that is run twice per year, so every six months. Wow. And all the connector sets, as we said, they are standards and are based on a strong encryption. Very good. So basically security is covered, if that can all be sorted out. From Absolutely. The Just to say that some of the modular success factor, they are among the most used in the pharmaceutical industry. And I mean, you know a lot about pharmaceutical yes. because you've done implementation in, in that industry, how particular they are about security and standards. Uh, I, I don't know the exact percentage, but the majority of pharmaceutical, they are on success factors. So every IT person can tell you how difficult and disastrous connectors can be when considering upgrades. Well, luckily this doesn't happen with success factors. As you remember, we're talking about four major upgrades during the year. So, Lorenzo, we mentioned in this episode about the, the HR in the cloud, uh, SuccessFactor provides four um, major upgrades or minor or major upgrades, uh, one every three months, and then it's up to you if you want to apply it, but basically it happens behind the scenes. Very much correct. And we're talking about functional aspects of the upgrade where you can choose what you want to use and upgrade. While instead for the technical side, which include the connectors, Sasafato takes care of everything, so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I, I remember in the old days, I mean, until a few years ago, it was really a major concern in clients when you had to do an upgrade and you have all true. the connection, upgrade and, and costs and time. Isn't this one of the reasons why Microsoft did an official funeral for Internet Explorer 6? <laughs> don't be <laughs> That's very fun. <laughs> But this just seems so easy. Yeah, and e when it's easy for me, it's scary because that means there's a lot of technology, so the price is much bigger. Is that the case? No, it's not. Because with Sasafatos, we are talking about a cloud integrated solution. Okay. That means with your license fee, you're talking about a set of standard connectors that come straight away with it. So you're not With the licenses. You don't need to buy add ons or anything like that. Correct. Okay. And also, there are going to be also a set of APIs available for you should you just need Just in it. case you need it. Okay. And uh, just to mention that with Allos, so we've been integrating for 30 years system, 3-0. <laughs> so in case there is a specific need, we can also cover that just in case that happens. And yet again today, we break another myth. Is that right, Rhonda? That's correct. I think one of the biggest perceptions out there is that one system should do it all. One ring to rule them all. Exactly, Rhonda. So, is it true that it's better to have one system that does uh, everything? It's a question for the naked truth. The naked truth. The truth is that there is no such thing like a system that does it all. When we talk about integration, we are referring to a number of systems that work seamlessly together. And that is what Sasafata is very good at. Okay, so whatever system does something really, really well, we leverage uh, in that uh, good feature, in those the good features for every single system. So we get the best of every world. We have attached a link in the description to a Success Factors movie that will show you how to demystify integrations. So what did we learn today? So if we have uh, three uh, things that we take home today, what is the first one? Well, I think the first one is that it's easy to integrate. The second one will be how much money you can save by running these connectors. Yeah, so it actually you cut costs. And the third one I would say that uh, now it's all about the experience and not about the integration. So the integration is much, much easier. Look after your people and how you do your change management on how to use this new beautiful integration that you have. So if you have more questions on this topic, please feel free to ask them below. We look forward to hearing from you. Absolutely. And uh, remember to subscribe uh, so you know when we come out with a new episode, which is uh, every two weeks. Uh, and uh, search the Success Factor Show in LinkedIn. We have discussions going on there. And please join and participate. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Ah, thank you, Lorenzo, for your contribution. And we'll see you in two weeks' time. Thank you for watching.